Yeah, what it is. What it is. Oh, what up? What you talking about? Talking about? Gangsta on the net, but you ain't talking. They dripping, they saucy. You see them? That's how I walk around. Uh, no, nah, I ain't a J, but I'll hawk you down. Uh, come on, walk them down. Get down on the ground. Uh, yeah. Nah, I ain't in no classroom, but I'll chalk them down. Uh, Balling hard, and I'm still gonna shoot a few out of bounds. High as fuck, up before walking to Dr. Brown. Uh, What's up, y'all? It is your boy Juice SQ coming back again with another video, man. And today I got some more drama for y'all, man. And I hate drama. I hate it. You know, I just hate it. But, man, I knew the first drama I posted, what was that, yesterday or the day before yesterday? I don't remember. The thing about Diamond Nicole and Chief Keith, man, I'm thinking it's true. I'm thinking it's true. But this time it's not about them. This time it's about one person you wouldn't even think getting the type of dramas. This is about one person you would think the drama wouldn't get this far. And that's CJ So Cool and his baby mama. Now for y'all for y'all that don't know, CJ So Cool posted a video yesterday, which I will put that video down in the description so y'all can go watch the video yourself. He posted a video yesterday, and I know y'all can tell by the title. Yeah, it looks like um Royalty and his baby mama's into it. And this time it's heavy. Real heavy, like, talking big. Let me shut up. Just know it's heavy. So, um, yeah, he posted a video yesterday. And he explained why, like, Kamari, I mean, not Kamari. Yeah, well, Kamari's mom and Royalty's into it. So it all started over some lasagna, first off. It all started over food, you know. Kamari asked for some more. They said, no, nah, she kind of got mad and threw a fit, I guess. Uh, and then, um, you know, CJ don't hit his kids. He used verbal. So he says, if you continue to act up, you will go home. You feel me? Now, he didn't necessarily say, since you want to act up, you're going to go home. He said, if you continue, I'm going to have to send you home. So Kamari called her mom, and I guess her mom went off on CJ, texting all this other stuff. Now, um, now what happened was CJ So Cool's baby mama went on ahead and said, oh, it F them weak twins, which is the twins that Royalty and CJ are supposed to be having. They're supposed to be having two twins. You feel me? So right then and there, that's what really escalated the whole beef to start and go up and really blow up because yo you talking about two unborn kids like wow you're really talking about two unborn kids now royalty definitely she definitely went off like come get this fade what the bam it's all in the video they're gonna explain it in the video but also i do have royalty and i guess it's, her name is nike nike's lives i have both of them going live about each other so I will show you the lives. Right now, I'm just going to talk to y'all and, like, really tell y'all, like, lo, yo, just like I CJ say, two humans that have a child together are supposed to communicate way better. You feel I me? Mean? It, it, it's food. It is food. I mean, I know you, I understand you ain't got rules at the crib, but, hey, if, if, if you got rules at a certain area, you must follow those rules. You feel me? Not going to lie. I ain't even know nobody's sad, but at the same time, it's some of the shit that, uh, some of the shit, that shit that went down is kind of dumb. Like, it's food. But she, the his baby mama escalated more when she talked about the twins. And that's, that's a whole different type of disrespect. So, of course, royalty has the right to, like, disrespect you because you're disrespecting her unborn kids. You feel me? Like, it's not the thing about her not being able to have kids, but it's the thing, like, this time, you know, you might not know. She can't have these kids. She's going to, like she said, she's going to have these twins. And for you to say, oh, yeah, after them weak, unborn kids, what right do you not, what what makes you think you're not going to get disrespected? I don't know what you thought, but, yes, you're going to get disrespected. Like, what the bam, you're going to, 
if I was up in her shoes, oh yeah, fuck that. I'm flying to where you at just to beat you. The fuck you disrespecting my own born kid? Come on, G, you tweak. So, I'm going to show y'all Royce's laugh right now. Like, everything what she's saying in her laugh because they both went off on each other on laugh. You feel me? Gonna show you her laugh right now. So, uh. <sighs> you motherfucking right. You motherfucking right, bitch. Because you didn't piss me the fuck off. I didn't let your ass slide too many motherfucking times because I'm trying to be humble and I'm trying to be better. Because I want to see my kids. I don't want to end up in jail behind no motherfucking raggedy ass bitch that ain't got shit to live for. Yeah, maybe you got Kamari, but bitch, you don't even care about her. Her hair ain't never did. You ain't got no fucking clothes. You don't buy clothes for her. All the clothes Kamari fucking wear, we buy that shit. All the shoes she wear, we buy that shit. You ain't doing shit. Bitch, you still get child support, but I bet you your hair and your nails is did. Best believe that. So get out of here with all that weak ass shit. You better hope your... Motherfucking hands can move as fast as your motherfucking mouth. And that's all my motherfucking mama, bitch. Because I'm coming for your ass. 12 o'clock, bitch, I know when you land. Bitch, y'all motherfuckers don't even know who the fuck I am. But I had to calm down because I did this shit for my kids. I'm a grown woman about my shit. I let too much motherfucking shit slide. And I'm sick of this shit. Bitch, you don't disrespect my kids that I ain't even had yet. I ain't never disrespected your kid. But you know what? You take it too motherfucking far. You done crossed too many fucking lines. Now you about to get fucking dealt with. I'm trying to be a grown woman about my shit, but you know what? It is what it is. It is what the fuck it is, bitch, and I'm coming for your ass. So yeah, bitch, you better be ready with your fake Puerto Rican ass. Bitch, you ain't Puerto Rican no motherfucking wear, boy. And what? Keep my motherfucking name out your motherfucking mouth, bitch. And that's on every fucking thing. Because I am sick of this, bitch. I got to get text messages. Bitch, it's been fucking seven fucking years that you ain't been with fucking CJ, bitch. And I got to see text messages. I'm so hurt that you're not with me and you're not taking care of us. CJ ain't never sent you no motherfucking text message talking about he going to take care of your ass, bitch. So fuck you, bitch. About to go on a date with your baby daddy, okay? Okay, bitch. Honey K on my motherfucking wrist, bitch. And what your baby daddy bought it, okay? Look at this. Your baby daddy bought that. Hold on, let me show you. You see this? Your baby daddy bought this, baby girl. Uh -huh, okay. So, yeah, there you go. Her live. She went live about it. Talked about everything, man. Yo, like, honestly... I think Nike is kind of fucking jealous about what the hell they got, you feel me? I ain't gonna cap. I ain't gonna cap. I'm not gonna cap. But, uh, man, things got heated. It's getting heated, man. And then Nike went live. And, uh, it's one part in the video that I'm not gonna say till you watch it, but it's close to the end of the live. But I'm gonna show y'all the whole live. You can skip through the live. You can scam through it. I don't really care. But it's one part in particular that I want to talk about that she did. So I'm going to show you Nike's live. Her live is long, though. Like, her live is 15 minutes. So I'm going to show you her live. You feel me? So, uh. <coughs> and I'm starting to get a lot of notifications on Snapchat. And I'm like, dang, what's going on? I ain't posting nothing really. So I read the snaps or whatever. They like, go look at your baby daddy video on YouTube. I'm like, okay. So. I'm looking at the video, looking at the video, whatever. So I skim through it because, you know, he do a lot of talking, a lot of unnecessary shit on them videos just to keep y'all attention because he really don't be talking about nothing. But anyway, um, so let's start back from, I want to say like May or the beginning of June. Y'all know I keep receipts. I don't delete anything from my baby daddy because he's a liar. Um, best friend, I'm live, so I'm gonna call you back. Okay. Um, so, you know, I always be reminding him, like, I keep everything you send me, I keep everything you say to me because you be lying, you know. I have to keep the receipts. So, let's see, I got these text messages. 
Now let's start about Kamari's stand for the year. So y'all know how many times we tried that and I just felt like I ain't want Kamari to stay for a year one because all y'all kids, because that's all his fan base is, is kids. All y'all kids know me and Cordero don't get along all the time and me and Charlene don't get along. And we've had our views over Instagram and she said what she said and I said what I said. So when it came to the whole little not having a baby situation or whatever, at that point in time, I apologized for me being a woman. And if I wasn't able to have kids and somebody said that about me, it would bother me as well. But other than that, all this, she apologized, you should apologize then. He's a capper, Cordero caps. So... He called me, he's like, are you going to let Kamari come and stay with me for a year? This is Cordero's idea. Let's put that out there first. He wants to keep Kamari for a year because when she was one, he left. Um, and he did what he wanted to do or whatever. And then y'all knew nothing about her. And he came back in her life when she was, I want to say, four or five. Me and her flew to Vegas. He flew us out there. And Charlene, yes, royalty, she knew nothing about me being there until after he came there with Kamari or whatever. And, of course, Cordero is who he is. I showed y'all the messages before where he'll text me and say, I love you. He'll send me pictures of his private parts. He'll tell me how much he want to be with me and how he's he going to leave her. Oh, let's talk about these twins, though. So, the whole twin situation. So, the whole, whole agreement was for Kamari to go with Cordero for a year or whatever. And he's, like, trying to convince me to get her to to stay with him. And I'm like, no, you know, I just don't feel like she should go. We've never been away from each other this long. What he's like, well, I'll up your child support so we don't have to go to court or whatever if you let her stay with me. So I'm like, let me think about it because at the end of the day, everything to him is about YouTube, subscribers, and money, and views. So... He like, Kamar, he steady asked me, steady asked me, like, are you going to let Kamari stay? Are you going to let Kamari stay? So, to, this day was uh, June 5th. And he was like, what about Kamari coming out here? Does she have summer school? I said, she's coming out there. I sent the teacher a message waiting for her to reply. Because we were waiting to see if she had to do summer school or not. So, um, the teacher replied or whatever, and like, no, she don't have to do summer school. So I'm like, okay, as far as her coming out that she has asthma, and, you know, they claim they don't need to go to the doctor because they don't believe and stuff like that. But Kamari has asthma. Asthma is real. So I said, as far as her asthma, are you going to make sure she goes to the doctor and get properly medicated? And as far as her insurance, what are you going to do about that? He replies, I'll be paying her medicine cash, no insurance. We never go to the doctor, which you already know, but I'll find a local doctor for Kamari just in case she has an issue. So I'm like, okay, cool. He booked the flight. I said, what time, what day? He sent the time of the day or whatever. So we went back and forth about the day she was going to come out there. And he finally got a day for her to come. Uh, Let's see. Let's get down to it. Okay, so when it came to Kamari being out there, whatever, because like I said, this is Cordero's um, idea, whatever. So he's like, um, yeah, Kamari's here now. I don't understand why I'm paying you if she's still here. By right, Cordero has no rights to Kamari. I'm the sole parent of Kamari. So anything that Cordero gets to do with Kamari is me being nice. He has no rights to her when he left the state of Indiana. Let's put that out there. So, me being me, and I know how much Kamari wants to be involved with her dad. I'm like, you can get the summers and the holidays or whatever. Cool. So, when it came time to this whole year's thing or whatever, he's like, um, if you were saving like you said, you should be good. Um, you're not buying Kamari anything or doing anything for her at all right now. You just, you don't have to. But somehow you're still asking for more. I hope you don't owe oh, all those whack ass people in your video. So in my music video, he claimed he never seen the video, but he knows so much about it. My brother and my sister is in my video. So I said, PSA, the weak ass P 
people in my video are my brother and sister and cousins clown i said but let's just handle this professionally because i'm tired of talking to you i'm tired of getting into it with you and i'm tired of being the grown one about the situation and you be immature about it so let's just handle it the correct way okay sorry for thinking you were being greedy and trying to use our child to get more money out of me at a bad time my and my apologies about the video i never saw it i just was trying to see the comments about the people um the ghetto people in my baby mama video i know you don't know anything about it but when you make a lot of money you have to pay taxes and there's no joke my taxes are um, X amount of dollars and going up every day. So my number one priority is paying off that. I don't give a fuck about your taxes, fam. I don't give a fuck about what you have going on. This was your idea. I didn't have to let Kamari come out there and stay with you. So the fact that I can always go on my part, do my part, and you can always get amnesia and throw, oh, I got to pay this, I got to do that, fam, you're weak. You're so weak at the end of the day. So he said... If you want to get Kamari back, come and pick her up personally. I said, that's not a problem. So, the days go by. Kamari's on the phone with me. He's like, oh, um, Kamari, who are you talking to? She's like, my mom. He's like, oh, um, Nike, did you see the video? Did you see the house? I'm like, I heard about it. Um, he's like, let's just stop arguing and agree to disagree. I don't argue with you because at the end of the day, there's no point in arguing. I said what I said and it is what it is. Kamari is seven years old. So for two grown people to sit up and have a discussion about her mother, how grown do that make y'all look? She asked them for lasagna. She asked them for food. And they told her no and made her do push-ups when she ate the food. My child is seven. She's a growing girl. When she at home, if she wants to eat, as long as it's not cake, pies, cookies, candy, and any of that, Kamari can have whatever it is she wants to have. So... For her to be turned down at 6 o'clock in the afternoon about some lasagna. Yeah, y'all got me fucked up. So, I'm on the phone with them yesterday. Cordero's all, I love you. I want to see you. Um, I didn't tell Kamari to call you and tell you that I was sending her home because I was going to bring her home personally. Oh, you were going to bring her home personally because you wanted to see me, correct? So, then he's like, yeah, that's what I was saying. Oh, okay, cool. So, I said, you need to humble yourself. Everything that you have can be taken away in the blink of an eye. He says, no, I don't need to humble myself. If you don't like what I'm doing, take me to court. I said, that's not a problem. I will. Um, Casper finally had a voice and finally wants to speak up outside of the social media, outside of YouTube and say, oh, come get this work, ho. Come get this work. Clapping, doing all this unnecessary shit. Her kids is around. I'm on the phone with my child and she's on my child's phone talking crazy to me, cussing and clapping and she rah rah and this and that. So, of course, I said what I said, which at the end of the day, you're mad because you can't have kids. That's not my problem. You had three kids and you got your tubes tied. So then you wanted my baby daddy to send you to go get them tubes untied so you can have a baby by him because I have a baby by him and you're in competition with me. At the end of the day, that's what it was. So then when you had got pregnant and that baby got caught in the first tube, they took that tube away from you. Then you got pregnant again and the baby got um the baby grew outside the tube. You so smart, you asked him, can you take the baby and put it inside the tube? Oh, how can they do that without the baby dying? Oh, okay. So, like I said, at the end of the day, don't disrespect me in front of my child. Don't ever speak on me. Don't speak down on, on me in front of my child because she has nothing to do with this. Charlene has my number. Charlene could have called me and said whatever it is she felt on her chest to me. So, I said what I said. I don't care about them weak-ass twins. And, bitch, get pregnant. I don't have a problem with that. And anytime I go to Vegas and I see my baby daddy, it's up there and it's stuck there. So, I don't care I don't care what none of you kids have to say. None of you kids think I'm bitter. Kamari needs to say no. My child will never stay in an environment where a woman can disrespect me in front of my child. Because, see, at the end of the day, them kids, them her friends, they all friends out there. Friends. Ain't no, ain't no motherfucking discipline going on for real. Cordero said he don't whoop his kids. That's, that's fine and dandy. Don't whoop your kids. But Kamari has structure when she's here. She's not going to rip around and do whatever she wants to do. I'm on the phone with Kamari and Kam Cordero is allowing these kids to cuss at him. Calling him all type of bitches. 
saying anything to him cussing. I wish Kamari would come home and try and cuss at me. She can try it. Try it. At the end of the day, I'm not playing about mine. So let's let's fast forward to today. She on the phone hooping and hollering and cussing and bitch, come get this work. I'm going to whip you, you this, this, and that third. Okay, cool. Don't worry about it. So, Cordero texts me this morning. Good morning, baby mama. Hopefully you're feeling the same way as Roy T and I about last night and just ready to drop the whole situation and admit it was kind of funny and satisfying to be able to get things off y'all's chest for the first time. Anyway, I'm asking for this important reason. Obviously, can Kamari continue to stay here? And I replied with my ticket booked for Friday. Good afternoon, baby daddy. Unfortunately, my flight is booked and I do not want Kamari raised by a woman that disrespects me in front of her. She has my number. If she had anything to say to me, she could have called my phone. Away from the kids, it could have been handled differently from jump. He said, okay. I said, if, if it was just you, she could have stayed. We're always into it. But that show last night, no, I'm not okay with it. So, at the end of the day, no, my child won't be staying in Vegas. No, no, she cannot live under the same roof as a female that's jealous because she have a hard time having a baby. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. That's your problem, not my apple. Nobody told you to get them tools tied. Nobody told you to have three kids. You did what you wanted to do, just like I did what I wanted to do. And I had my baby with Cordero James Brady, and you're mad. So, like I said, that video, cap, cap. Cordero is a capper. At whole time we're arguing, he's sitting there like, and whoever wins the fight is who I'm leaving with. On countless occasions, Cordero has told me and my child that he's going to leave Charlene and her kids so we can be a family. So, like I said, I don't be worried about none of this shit. All y'all be saying this, she better, she that, she want to be like royalty, she want to be this, she want to... I don't give a fuck about a royalty. I don't give a fuck about a CJ so cool. I'm Nike at the end of the day, Kamari's mother. She don't have to address this female as mother because she got a mother. I'm not absent out of my child's life. I'm not a deadbeat. I'm there every second, every step of the way. So, like I said, she is beat, dragged on sight. I don't give a fuck. It's up there and it's stuff that's talking about. I apologize. I ain't gonna never apologize to this bitch. When I said what I said yesterday, just like she said what she said yesterday. And before then, when I made the snap on Instagram about her not being able to have kids. I said maybe I shouldn't have said that because I'm a woman at the end of the day and if I couldn't have kids I would feel some type of way. But at this point I don't give a fuck what that bitch can and can't do. And I don't care how nobody feel about it on here. Cap none. I come with all facts. I come with all receipts. I keep everything when it comes to me and this this man because he's a liar. He um he the reason why this stuff kind of like where it's at because he lied and said what he said was not what he said and she mad thinking I want this man at the end of the day he know where it's at he know where it's at there's no way that anytime I go to Vegas this man tries his hardest to see me for no reason just want to see me so like I said y'all can report this live y'all can say whatever it is y'all want to say Kamari Marie Brady will be home come Friday Nike will be in Vegas and it's up there and it's stuck there anybody have a problem with it see me about it Period, bitches, and I said what I said. So there you guys have it, you see? Now, the part that got to me was um, she's reading messages, right, from her phone, I guess. Now, she was saying all this stuff that CJ used to say, oh, well, I want to see you. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave Roy T for you and Kamari. You were at the BAM. Here's my thing. Now, CJ said in his video, um, some about some being funny, and it, actually, what CJ said in the video was the same thing that, uh, Nike showed in the text. Now, here's my thing. You want to show that, that particular text about what CJ said, right? Why didn't you show everything else to us to really believe that CJ's a capper, you feel me? If CJ's actually capping... And he's sitting here texting you, I love you, all this, woo out the bam, I want to see you, I'm going to leave her for you, woo out the bam again. If that really happened, why you didn't show the text messages like you did? Because you basically showed what the fuck CJ didn't said already. You feel me? 
You shouldn't have showed that text. You shouldn't have showed those text messages. You would have exposed him, you feel me? But like I said, I ain't on nobody's side. Well, I kind of am because I'm still on the fact that you said fuck them damn kids. And that's that's wrong. That's what the band that's wrong, regardless. But still, like, man, it's a lot of getting out of hand. And this is one long video. Like, I know I ain't even the type of person to post drama, but, hey, I got to. I got to show y'all something, man. Because all y'all know, y'all see the new color. You feel me? I had to change color. But I know how to. Sh I, I just had to show y'all, man. Because there's a lot of drama going on. First is with Chief Keith and Diamond. Now is this. I can't wait to see what the hell the next drama is, man. If you knew, hit that subscribe button, man. Damn. If you knew, hit that subscribe button, man. And turn on that post notification so you can come right back to the HQ whenever I drop another fucking video, man. Hit a like, man. I don't care if it's a like or a dislike. Just hit the button, man. Just hit the button. And comment down what y'all think just might happen. Do you really think they're going to fight on Friday? Do y'all really think they're going to fight on Friday? Like, do you really think Nike's going to come down there and actually fight royalty? Y'all think that? Just comment down below what y'all think, man. This your boy Juice HQ. I'm out finna go get my head up. Peace. <laughs> they hit me like I got a dope cell. I'm ringing like I got a doorbell. All my fans in this ain't giving more hell. How about the whip it feel like the floor fell? He spins, he can't breathe, give him more air. I'ma wait outside this house and build the fort there. Midnight, ring his bell, give him more mail. Got a lot of beef, taco meat, more shell.